Gypsy, very good hurdler in his pomp. Alan King, Wayne Hutchinson, Irish Saint for Paul Nichols and Sam Twiston Davis. Didn't Paul Nichols enjoy Silsol's victory? Splash of Ginge for uh, Nigel Twiston Davis and Ryan Hatch, you've heard all about. And the mayor, Gitan du Berlay, who receives the sex allowance. Willie Mullins brings her from Ireland, and she's a trailblazer and a bold jumper too. And Daryl Jacob rides for Simon Muneer and Isaac Sweard. Yes, they come forward for this Silly Isles Novices Chase. The Betfred TV Silly Isles Novices Chase and the railway fences come up uh, quickly for these novices. As Gitan de Burley in the shades of green on the left is Irish Saint. On the right, splash of Ginge. Maroon sleeves, Grimetti, light blue jacket, Champagne West. Not a good jump by Gitan de Burley at the first fence. Went right-handed, very awkward as they now go to the second. Better there from Irish Saint, Splash of Ginge, Grimetti and Champagne West as they go towards the final of the three railway fences and they're safely over and uh, she's a very free running mare this, Gitane de Burley and uh, she's into a four length lead now as they exit the back straight followed in second by Irish Saint looking to give champion trainer Paul Nichols yet another notable Saturday win Grumetti on the inside of Splash of Gins and then Champagne West at the rear under Richard Johnson the Silly Isles Novices Chase named somewhat unromantically after two mini roundabouts at the far end of Isha High Street this the old junction as they go towards the pond fence Gitan de Burley over in front from Irish Saint Grumetti and uh, Champagne West gave that a bit of a clout at the back of the field. Fine strapping horse Champagne West. Not sure how nimble he is. He'll be tested down the back straight here. Going towards the next. A leader safely over. And quite a distance now between first and last. Must be a good 12 or 15 lengths between Gitan de Burley and Champagne West at the back. Now this is an open ditch. So Gitan de Burley is over. Jumped it really well under Daryl Jacob there. Uh, followed by Irish Saint, Grumetti in third, Smash of Ginge and Champagne West as they run in front of the stands with a circuit to go. Thank you for your responses regarding the horses that have done well on the flat over hurdles and fences. Some names in the frame, Overturn, also Caracciola, Zarowicz winner, Aurelius, a ledger winner, also a winner over hurdles and fences. And Junior, what about Junior who won at Royal Ascot? good staying hurdler and chaser thank you very much they're about to swing right-handed and run down the hill towards the next plane fence and there splash of ginge running off the track a little bit under ryan hatch just having a little difficulty getting the horse around that turn and consequently splash of ginge has lost some ground and is now the back marker but they're quite well grouped together with champagne west taking much closer order now under richard johnson on to the next you tend to burlay is the leader from Champagne West into second there, out wide of Irish Saint and then Grumetti and Smash of Ginge. About to turn into the back straight. Gitan de Burley looks under much greater control at this point of the race than over the first couple of fences. Irish Saint on the inside, Champagne West on the right as they go towards the first down the back, just brushing through the top, Champagne West. Then Grumetti in fourth place, and Splash of Ginge has got some work to do from there now as they clear the next. Splash of Ginge not overly fluent at that fence either, going to an open ditch as Gitan de Burley jumped it impeccably from Irish Saint in second. A length away third is Champagne West. Grumetti is now driven along and gets a couple of reminders from Wayne Hutchinson. So they're beginning to get sorted out here halfway down the back straight in this great one Silly Isles novices chase, the Betfred TV Silly Isles, now back to the railway fences and Gitan de Burley, Irish Saint, Champagne West, Grumetti as they go to this and Splash of Ginge is being pulled up as they jump the first of the railways, Grumetti made a mistake, on towards the next. The mayor still leading, the Willie Mullins train mayor, one of three entries in this, and Champagne West has gone! Champagne West, a faller, up on his feet all right under Richard Johnson. Meanwhile, Gitan de Burley, one of three entries for Willie Mullins in this race at the uh, entry stage, and the chosen one, pursued by Irish Saint in second, and Irish Saint is the one she's got to beat by the look of things. Grumetti, the only other horse in the race now, is a good 15 lengths, maybe more, back in third with Splash of Ginge having 
pulled up. Richard Johnson is fine. He's walked away from that fall from Champagne West. Now on towards the pond fence. Three out. Jitan de Burle, Irish Saint. Ball towards the inside. Will he be able to get up? Daryl Jacobs inside here. Sam Twist and Davis as they jump three out. Good jump by the leader again. And she's still powering on. Is the is the Irish train mare. Gitan de Burle turns for home. An Irish Saint. Now he's at it in second place as they go towards the second last. Gitan de Burle, Irish Saint. Uh, a good jump there in second. Got to within a length and a half. And now they're between the final two fences. And Irish Saint trying to stay on, trying to get to Gitan de Burle as they now arrive at the final fence. Gitan de Burle lifts off two lengths clear, two and a half to Irish Saint, and she's staying on very sound, soundly here, receiving weight, five-year-old allowance, the mayor's allowance, Gitan de Burle keeping on going up the hill, kept up to her work by Daryl Jacob, and wins clearly. Gitan de Burle lands the bet Fred, Silly Isles, novices chase, Irish Saint in second, and Grimetti a long way back in third, the only three finishers, three of the five finishing here.